Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you'd like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below and there you'll find a link to my Ravelry page where you can see images of all the PDFs that are available for you to purchase with the instructions to knit up one of my patterns yourself. Also in the description below, you will find a link to my Facebook group for Watch Barbara Knits. It's a closed group and it's a place where we can continue the conversation that we have started here on this YouTube channel. Of course, I love chatting with people in the comments, but on Facebook, we can show, pic show share pictures and have a lot of fun. Just request to be added and I will approve your request. Today I have, um, I call this Swatch Lab. I think I need to do more of these. I would love to hear from you guys if you like this and what it is, is going over a new yarn. Well, it doesn't have to be a new yarn. It can be a new to me yarn, but actually this one is a new yarn. I'm super excited about it. I talked a little bit about it on my vlog. It is the Prairie Spun DK from Brown Sheep Company. It's super cool. They are a, a small family company. Well, I mean, relatively small. They make a lot of yarn, but in terms of the scale of um, yarn companies, it's relatively small. It is still a family company. Let me check. I want to make sure I know where they are. They're owned and operated by the family in Mitchell, Nebraska, which, wow, that's far away. And they source all their yarn. Uh, the wool comes from U.S. sheep. And I have over here a list they have um, a variety of different wool sheeps, including Corydales, Rambouillets, Ram I totally can't pronounce that name, and Colombians. So it's a mixture of different type of wool that produces their unique yarn. They dye them absolutely beautiful colors, and they have a focus on using sustainable processes. It said they... Um, 70 to 90% of their daily white wastewater is actually recycled, which is fantastic if you think about how much water is used in processing wool because they take it off the sheep and you know what? Those sheep haven't been like hanging out in like uh, clean rooms. <laughs> They've been out sheeps doing sheepy things and doing what sheepies do in their sheepy coats. And then they take the coats off and turn them into yarn. So they have to be washed and they have to be processed. And then it has to be spun. And then during the dye process, it's, there's I mean, there's a lot of water involved. So the fact that they recycle a huge amount of that water I think is absolutely fabulous. Um, what else? So I have coming up, I did a separate video so you can see what I've done close up. I have, I knit my swatch. Here it is. And I don't, so I haven't been able to get a really good picture of this color. Um, it is greener than my shirt. It's a beautiful, beautiful tealy blue called Lost Lake. I really loved it. Um, it, I have plenty left and I'm really seriously trying to decide. I think it would make a great hat, but, um, I talk about in the upcoming video, what a, a lot of that. And I go through how I knit my swatch and just talk about this particular yarn. I want to thank Brown Sheep for sending me this yarn. They sent it to me so I could take a look at it and so I could share it with you. And I really appreciate that. Um, let's see, is there anything else I needed to tell you? Um, no, I, I'm trying to remember what I said in the video I already made because I don't want to be horribly redundant. So here it is. This is the Brown Sheep Prairie Spun DK. Here we are, Prairie Spun DK, spun and dyed by the Brown Sheep Company in Mitchell, Nebraska. Let's keep on looking at their label. There's all their information. For color uniformity, purchase enough yarn to complete your project. Always a very good piece of advice. According to the little yarn ball thing, it says it's a three, which I believe is medium weight. This is a DK weight yarn. Hand wash. Don't dry it. I don't know what the triangle means. <laughs> I should probably look that up. It is 100% wool, three ply yarn. 
net weight is 100 grams, approximate 256 yards, 22 stitches per four inches on A6. This color is Lost Lake, and I have dye lot three. I don't know that that's a particularly useful piece of information. Let us get the ball out. You can see here, we have to check with Mr. Spock pull out the ball of yarn. The reason why I have so many project bags is I keep everything together in case I forget. I also have a ludicrous amount of needles. Now, the writing on this is like shiny and stuff, so I'm pretty sure that focus-wise, this is not going to, you're not going to be able to read this, but I can look at it and it says it is a size six needle. So I used the recommended needle size. Here is the yarn. I have been messing with it. If you untwist, if you twist it the wrong, get that out of the way. If you twist it the wrong way, you can see the plies and I already teased them out. It is indeed a three ply yarn. You can see how nice and wooly it is. It is a very, it's wool. I mean, <laughs> It's definitely wool, but it has that nice wooliness to it. I don't know if there's any way to describe it. It's got a, um, a certain level. You can see it's got a little bit of fuzz. It's got a certain level of texture to it that you only get with wool. It, that makes it grabby. That's what also would make it felt if you wanted to felt it, which is why also you should not <laughs> wash it in your washing machine because that would be a bad plan. It has a distinct ply, but as you here's another thing that I like to do is you look at it and that's how wide it is regular. But then if you pull it, you can see it gets skinny, skinny, skinny. So it definitely has some stretch, but it pops right back. Very nice. And here is the swatch I did. I have a picture of it unblocked. I'm going to show it right about here probably. So you can see what it looked like before I blocked it. When I run a yarn through its paces to try to get an idea of what it likes and what it doesn't like, I like to do a little lace. And you can see here it held up nicely to the lace because it has memory. It's not going to block out super fine. You can see it didn't, again, like how I showed you, I stretched it. It will get skinnier, but then it pops back. But I think it likes lace. It looks very nice. Um, I think it really liked this pattern. I like how it came to a point. And so I blocked this and you can see, I didn't cut my ends, sorry guys. You can see it's holding this point very nicely. It's been a, a week or so since I've done that. I like to see, let it hang out and see what it's going to do. Did a little more lace and I did some reverse here, stockinette, just to see what it looked like. A Little bit of stockinette here. See, it looks super nice. It's got a nice fill in. When you get yarns, get out of there, whatever you are. Um, when you get yarns that have like super stitch, stitch definition, they you can see like each individual stitch and you never get this field. And so when you get a yarn that's wooly like this and it's a little, got a tiny bit of a little fuzz, it fills in and creates a nice soft field. I decided to do this crazy stitch just to see what would happen. It looks pretty cool. And then how does it like cables? And I think it super likes cables. Look how nice they stand up. And again, it, when you look at, I'm gonna lay it flat because when I pick it up, it doesn't, you can see through it, that's not good. Um, you can look at the picture of it unblocked and how much it pulled in because of how I knit it. But then when I blocked it, how nice it looks. Look how good those stand up. So, it has held its block. It is nice to work with. It is not a super soft yarn, but not all yarns need to be super soft. I can definitely see this making a wonderful hat, wonderful fingerless gloves that can take and stand up to some wear and tear. Some of the softer yarns are so soft that they pill and you're not going to get a whole lot of usage out of it. This is a nice wooly yarn, which I think will hold up to usage, which would make it great for garments. Sweaters, it's going to take use, and you're not going to get, like, pilling instantaneously, and it holds the lace very nicely. I think it would make a beautiful, warm, functional shawl. 
It's not just for decoration. I would love to see mapes knit up in this. I think that would be nice. And um, you know, have you seen those uh, Outlander shawls that everybody likes that wrap around? I think this would make a beautiful version of that. And the colors are fantastic. So that is your close-up look at my swatch for Prairie Spun DK from Brown Sheep Company. I hope you enjoyed that look at this new yarn. As I said, I think it would be wonderful for garments because I think it's going to hold up. It comes in gorgeous colors. I will link in the description below to their website so you can see their colors and find out what local yarn store you might be able to get this yarn at and check out their other stuff. It is a wonderful company and I'm really looking forward to playing with this yarn some more and actually getting to know some of their other yarns. Um, this is the first time I've used a brown sheep yarn and I can guarantee it's not going to be my last. As I said, I'd love to hear what you think about this swatch lab and if you'd like to see more, if there's a specific yarn you want me to take a swing at, uh, please chat with me in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up, click that like button, and if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.